What's up guys and welcome back to F1 2020. So uh, Cooper Motors has a major financial decision to make today and I'm not really sure what the right answer is. I, I think over time, you know, it's all going to balance out. But starting off in our career, obviously this is a really, really important thing. Uh, you know, young budding team here trying to fight for every position we can get out there on the grid and and I feel like our early spending is going to make a big difference. So you guys can see we've got $2.89 million up there in the top right as a mix of our sponsorships and our weekly income and stuff like that, merch sales, etc. And uh, that means we can upgrade pretty much any facility that we want. So if we go over to our facilities, you guys will see like for Aero, $2.5 million to upgrade this, two, two, two. Chassis, I think, is going to be pretty much the same. I believe our durability is a little bit cheaper. You guys can see we can steal some of these for $1.5 The one thing we aren't going to be able to get is the sponsor relations. That increases our acclaim earn rate, but that's going to cost us $5 million, so we're going to ignore that for now. I wonder, is oh, powertrain's pretty expensive as well. $5 million for that. $5 million, $5 million, $6 million. Holy cow. So we can't afford powertrain, we can't afford marketing, but we could, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thinking arrow to be honest that like, I, I've been, I've been thinking about this off and on for like all, all of today leading up to when I was going to record this. I kind of feel like arrow. We have a lot, a lot to work with in the arrow department. We, we really, we really need to work on that. I almost feel like our aero upgrades might be the most important thing. Obviously, power is important, but if you can't put the power to the ground, then what's it worth? I know this may not be exciting, but I think I'm going to do quality control. I'm going to spend $2 million on that. Oh, that's coming in on April 11th. It's currently April 6th. I mean, we, we really need to upgrade our aero to, to go in line with our engine. Like we have a good Mercedes engine. We don't need to be upgrading that. We need to work on our aero and our chassis and, and everything else. So I'm thinking if we decrease the failure chance, the better off we're going to be. I mean, when you look at this, like we, we were at a 40% failure chance. That's pretty significant. Let's say we spend 575 resource points here and it fails. That's a lot out the window. So I feel like bringing that down to 30% and eventually 20% might be a decent idea. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think there's really any wrong answers. And the longer you play, like if you're doing a whole season or even multiple seasons, eventually it's all going to balance out. But you guys can see here in total, aero and chassis are our two weakest points. So we need to start bringing those up. So let's uh, let's go ahead and check out our, our activities for the week. So it looks like ooh, we've got a lot of days to fill in here. So we've got three days before we have an invitational event. Let's see what we want to put in here. Chassis department focus is going to give us resource points plus 5% department morale to chassis. Uh, is there another three-day thing? Sponsor advertisement is going to give us team acclaim and cash or a funded event at home is going to be negative 10K and give, give morale to everything. We are, we are definitely going to be doing that. We've got an invitational event here. I'm not sure what that is. Then we've got another another five days to go. So there's a driver promotional filming. I'm not going to do that. We need to do a two and a three. I just, I don't care about my own personal acclaim. I feel like team acclaim is going to be important. Let's keep ranking that up. More we level up, more sponsor money we're going to get. That's going to be good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then for here, we could do sponsor advertisements. Going to give us more team acclaim. Should we, should we go all in on Team Acclaim here? I think I'm going to be down for that. And then that's going to bring us to our, our, our Grand Prix weekend. No messages here. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and advance a little bit. As we continue to increase our Acclaim, more potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the Corporate tab. So let me go over to our Corporate tab here. Now, one thing that I was really stupid about when we chose our first sponsor I chose Atlantic. The goal here, I thought the goal was just like a seasonal goal. The goal is for every single week. So Atlantic, every time we, we do 75 laps in a weekend, it's going to give us that goal of $123,000. I'm not doing 75 laps in a weekend, dude. That's like three or four hours of gameplay every weekend. I'm not doing it. So we need to find something that we can hit every single week, week in and week out. Dude, this seems like a pretty good one. Are you kidding me? Zanetto here, we're getting 105k weekly income, which isn't bad, but we get 160k bonus 
If we answer two interview questions, yes, I'll take it. Confirm it. Let's lock that in. That's going to be easy money. All right, so I'm not sure what this invitational event is, but uh, we're we're just we're going to go for it. I don't know. I mean, we're obviously racing. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know if it's just we're doing like a hot lap just for charity or something. I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to see. I mean, we could potentially get some acclaim and stuff from it. So let's let's find out what this is about. This is kind of fun, kind of exciting, something a little bit different. Welcome to today's Prix. invitational event, where some of the world's finest drivers will be treating us to a special exhibition of some of the sport's most iconic cars. Oh, so it's just a checkpoint challenge, and we're going to be using old school, old school setups. 2010 Red Bull Racing RB6 on circuit Zandvoort. Time limit's 35 seconds. Pass goal is travel 7.8 kilometers from a rolling start race around the track to cover the target distance before time runs out. Additional time is added to your limit with each checkpoint crossed. We can get $150,000 and a thousand acclaim for this. I love this, dude. This is a fun idea. Got a little, you know, challenge happening here. Gonna show our cojones as a driver, be able to help our team out and maybe win some money. Get us a little bit more space in the budget. I love it. It's a great idea. And it kind of mixes it up so it doesn't get too, uh, too, too simple with like, you know, go to the next race and race weekend, do this race, do this, do that. We're going to have a little bit of fun, do something, something outside of our comfort zone here. So every checkpoint is going to add a little bit of time. Dude, this thing feels so different than our, our other cars, our current cars. Definitely feels a lot lighter. You, you wouldn't want to put an old school, really valuable you know, iconic race car into a wall during a charity event like this. I don't know if it's a charity event, but you guys get what I mean. It's supposed to be something kind of fun and, and different. Don't want to end up uh, destroying it. I've never raced at this track either. I have no clue what this is. <sighs> Woo! Okay. We got 28 seconds on the clock. So every checkpoint's giving us 12 more seconds and we're doing all right. It looks like we already made our first lap, so as long as we keep that up, our target distance is 7.8 kilometers and we're, we're hanging in there so far. Be careful about that. Dude, that first corner just feels so sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. 26 seconds left. I think we should be able to do this no problem. It seems like all these checkpoints are about 12 minutes apart, so you gotta or not 12 minutes, 12 seconds, I'm sorry. That one only gave us plus 10. Maybe second lap, it's doing different. Warning exceeding track limits. All right, we gotta be careful about that. Yep, we're only getting plus 10 seconds through every checkpoint now. We're down to 21 seconds overall. Dude, this reminds me of like the Cruising USA game. You could play on the arcade machines at like Walmart and stuff where you gotta keep hitting those checkpoints. Otherwise, you're gonna have to put a quarter in. Whew. 17 seconds. We need 0.8 miles, dude. Where's our next checkpoint? 10, 9. There's another 10 seconds. Be careful, Trev. We need 0.3 miles. We should be good. Got the checkpoint. And it looks like it looks like we beat the target. Is it just challenging us to go as far as we possibly can? Yo, we... Oh, I thought we got it. But we're good. We completed the challenge. We passed it. And we were able to get some money for the squad. I love it. That was honestly really cool. They've really outdone themselves with this this year, dude. So we got some XP. Looks like we unlocked some, like liveries and helmets and stuff like that that's the thing is like we could completely change up our livery if we want to eventually It'd be kind of fun maybe maybe changed up a couple couple times through the season i kind of like where we're at now but uh not bad so here's our new aero department it uh it, it doesn't it doesn't look like it changed a lot our next upgrade is going to cost five million dollars dude it is crazy how much money this this stuff costs 
I don't see any massive improvements. I know eventually, like, instead of having a guy with a wand and a fan in front of him here, we're gonna have, like, a full-on wind tunnel, like, all automated, that sort of thing. So that's that's pretty cool. But um, let's, let's go ahead and we're gonna go over to R&D. This upgrade should be active, so we should have some, some fewer failure uh, options here. So I'm gonna say, I mean, that's gonna move us up quite a bit, that's gonna move us up quite a bit, and this is gonna move us up quite a bit. I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and, and develop this. It's gonna, ooh, it's gonna cost us a thousand though. And it's gonna take us quite a while. I didn't realize some of these take like multiple weeks. We have a 30% failure chance and we have to spend two weeks waiting on this. Main flap on the front wing. I guess I'm down for it. All right. Estimated delivery is the 4th of May. That is crazy. So we've got some more points to spend here. We've got a 40% failure rate there. Uh, insufficient points on this end of things. Let me see what's going on with our durability. That's a 40% failure rate as well. I'm gonna go with our central under tray minor weight reduction. Let's let's go ahead and develop that upgrade and uh, and see what happens. So that's in development and our, our department capacity is reached. Insufficient resource points there. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna be able to be able to head into race weekend now, dude. I had no idea. There's so much time that goes into that. So that's why the really expensive upgrades to be able to work on two parts at once. That's why they're so expensive. Because if you're waiting three weeks, you aren't gonna be able to develop any other parts. That's insane. All right, well, we're just gonna have to keep on grinding. Hopefully we made some good decisions there. I guess uh, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. And so I'm going to see you guys when we get to qualifying. We're going to run through our practice sessions and get as many points as we can. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one, fellas. We'll, uh, we'll see if it translates to, to qualifying into the race. But I feel like in our practice session, we just absolutely slayed it, dude. We, we hit all of the challenges, aced pretty much everything that the team asked us to do, and overall just had a... Had a fantastic go at it. So we're gonna see what we can do. Looks like we're starting off around P15, P13, P12. All right, not not too bad. Would love to improve on that a little bit, but not not bad. P11 here. This track is just, it, it's so fast, man. Look at this. P9, we are kind of improving a little bit. Ooh, we got wide there, we got wide there. Down to P13. Come in through here, P14, shoot. We had a couple of not so great sections back there, but we're gonna be fine. This next part is, is really important. So you need to hit this, hit this corner. You need to be light through here. And then you really gotta get on it. You get on it, you cut down in, you come all the way through and carry that speed into this long straight back here. You've got DRS. This is gonna be our, our biggest passing zone on the track for sure. And then you gotta break kind of late through here. Get around this corner, get back on it smoothly so you don't lose any, any traction. We lost a little bit there, but we're fine. Break here, hit this corner, lift a bit. Ooh, we slid a bit there. Looking like we got a P9, fellas. Ninth place on the grid to start things off. That's not bad. We'll, we'll take it. This is just a really fast track. It's, uh,. I feel like it's super forgiving, and I, I don't know, I feel pretty good about it. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Absolutely, Are I'm there happy. Any drivers that you've got a rivalry with at the moment? A rivalry. Ooh, dude, what do you think? Should we choose Daniel Ricardo? Because that's kind of who I want to make my teammate. Or Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz is going to give us more, more driver acclaim. I guess I'm down to go with Sainz then. Let's just go for who we're gonna get more acclaim from. I'm a, I'm a clout chaser. It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Car feels fantastic. We'll be able to carry this through to the race. That's the plan. Keep an eye on me tomorrow and you'll see something special. We have a great strategy. It should get us plenty of points. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. Looking like a beautiful day for racing out here in Shanghai. 
20 degrees Celsius and clear, that's what We're I'm talking about. We're here in the about. Yangtze River Delta today, home of the 16 corners that make up the Shanghai International Circuit. 54% of this 3.3 mile lap is taken at full throttle, and we'll be getting up to speeds of around 200 miles an hour, with DRS assisting the cars down the back straight before they break into the sharp hairpin at turn 14. Turn 14 is no joke. That's straight before turn 14. Joining I'm pretty us sure today it's about a kilometer long, maybe a little spills. bit longer. It's Anthony Davidson. Just insanity, and dude. Like, I'm, I'm so excited for this race. It's going to be a fast today. one. How are the it's going to be a fast one. From what you've seen. Well, it's looking a bit Hope cold out there, to be if able I'm to make some, These tires have uh, quite a narrow noise. operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with the cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Lower grip and more mistakes. We're going to have to watch out for that. Let Before me see. we begin, we let's take a over. quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Kind of skipped Lewis over Hamilton the grid. Let's see what's going on here. Position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that Mercedes completes one, the front two. row. As we Who continue through the rest of the grid today, Max we Charles. have Verstappen, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel, and Albon. Ricardo, Stroll, Where's our boy Martin, at? Where's Sainz at? Carlos oh, Sainz is behind Perez, us. Let's go. Norris, Esteban Ocon, and Giovinazzi. We definitely have to change Gasly. up our, our racing suit. Our suit does not match, match okay, the Okay, there's a good chance you can finish in a point scoring position today. Good luck. Good chance? I mean, we've got one place behind us that we can drop back. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We're going to try our best. Now, let's talk strategy for a second. So, our first turn's a right-hander, but the second turn is a quick left-hander followed by a straight. So, I, I, I feel like we definitely want to be on the outside here. I feel like... We, we don't want to set ourselves up for the first corner. We want to set ourselves up for the second. If we can get up on on Ricardo here. I think we touched Vettel a bit there. But yeah, if we... Oh, gosh. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Woo! All right, now we're going to be careful this next corner. We're going to have to break pretty early, I would imagine. With everybody in here. Ooh. Little bit of little bit of contact there. We've got a caution. Ricardo was able to get back around us. Dang it. Okay, so we had a we had a good first first section and then following up was not quite as good. Let's get back on it here. Here we go, baby. That's a decent start. Good job. We gained a position off our start, so we'll we'll take it. It's not the most miraculous thing in the world, but we'll we'll take it. This is one of the most important corners through here. You really want to get on it? be able to get to this straight come on baby we should have some decent straight line speed you guys know we've been thinking about like arrow versus engine and stuff like that engine is is our strongest suit so we should be uh we should be all right in a straight line Whew. ah dang it i got on it a little bit too hard there i was i was wanting to to maybe get make a move or something off the bat but we're, we're fine i mean we're hanging in there we're definitely Definitely solidly shoot. I didn't want to break too early, but I also didn't want to go into his rear end there You know what I mean? It's it's kind of a kind of a tough thing to judge man That 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 was bad. We definitely broke. We broke way too early there We're gonna be fine. We'll make up for it That was actually a pretty pretty clean corner right there So we're about I mean as, as long as we keep within a second of Ricardo We're gonna be fine because we'll get that DRS on lap three Setting some good sectors through here. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Well, in that case, we got to get within one second of, of Danny Rick here. Let's go, Trev. Feel like that was a pretty good section through there. We're about 1.1 behind him, but we're bringing that down. That first quarter that, that we... we We, we, you know, broke a little bit too early. That killed us, man. He, Ricardo is gone. Straight up gone, dude. I'm trying to catch up to him, but it's it's not going to be an, an easy task, that's for sure. About 1.9 seconds ahead. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to hope for some, uh, we're going to have to hope for some good, some good pits. In this lap, strategies in this or something. Lap, push now. All right. So we're going in this lap. We want to make sure we keep our, our distance from Stroll as much as we can. Stroll's behind us within DRS. 
So we definitely have to worry about that. Just keep it slow and steady. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Just be smooth. Using a small amount of time to the car behind. Keep pushing. Lance Stroll is catching up to us. That's not good, fellas. Our tires have definitely been, been worn through pretty good. Just four laps in. That's crazy. I mean, I feel like we're still holding a line pretty well here. We're not we're not doing bad, but they're definitely catching up to us. We got Stroll and then... Stroll and then signs behind him. So we definitely want to... Uh, we definitely want to push here. We definitely do not want signs catching up to us. Here we go all the way through this corner into the kilometer long back stretch here looks like we did kind of pull ahead on stroll a little bit through that lap he's going to be in drs zone though so he's going to he's going to be catching up pretty quickly as is signs and everyone else that's what sucks is those guys are all going to be able to piggyback off of each other whereas we're we're constantly going to lose time to them because we're we're stuck out here so we want to go straight through here we want to break let's get into the pits break don't get a, a speeding penalty here, and we're gonna see what we can do. Gonna be trading in these saws for mediums. Looks like we're gonna be one of the first people in the pits, so we're, we're gonna see how this works out for us. I'm hoping for the best. Here we go, Trev. 2.2 seconds, not bad. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. So we are, uh, we are officially last place in the race right now but we were also the first person to pit so this should be an interesting an interesting lap we should push hard try to make as much time up as possible if we can have a really good out lap right here then we might be able to gain might be able to gain a position on on danny rick or something i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens just gonna try to i'm gonna try to take it easy not take i'm gonna try to push but i'm gonna try not to to do too much is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to try not to, to get too frazzled. Try not to get too... Try too hard, because then that's when you kind of make some mistakes. Without a doubt. So we're coming through here. I might stick with you guys this whole lap. Is that Latifi in front of us? Yep. We've actually almost caught up to Latifi, which is kind of interesting. Come through here. you got to go slow through there. Get on this line. Really get on it. Carry that speed through the corner here. Feel like that section could have been better, but it wasn't bad. Got this long straight here. We haven't been able to activate DRS once, man. Not good. Now we are setting red sector times, but keep in mind these are fresh tires. We've not really broken them in yet. They aren't warm. Our times will get better as time goes on. Our teammate is in the pits. Louis is in the pits. Louis in the pits. Let's see how we can do here. Looks like we got a lot of guys coming out. I see a McLaren. I see a Reno. That's Ricardo right there. Oh my goodness, dude, we got around him. Undercut Ricardo. That's what I'm talking about. The problem is, is he's going to have DRS on us now, though. So we're going to have to watch out for that. We've got Max Verstappen in front of us. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him, but I'm going to try to. No way. Our strategy actually might do us a, a bit of a service here latifi is is really holding max back here i would imagine max is is not too happy about that so we're, we're gonna have to get around latifi here good corner good corner dude this is just honestly it's i feel like it's kind of an easy track i i, I just i feel like it's very very friendly Whew. get through here we're gonna have to get around latifi quick I would imagine we'll probably be able to get around him on the straight, right? I'm gonna have DRS. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Let's go, baby. <sighs> Try to break a little bit late if we can. Oh my goodness, dude, we were going so fast. That'd be such a fun section to, to be sitting in. Alright. But yeah, if you were in the, the grandstands on there when these things are just flat out for a kilometer straight. Seven seconds. We're leading our teammate by 18.5 seconds. Shoot, dude. I honestly think this race would be a lot different if for that first corner we would have, like what we did right there, if we would have done that rather than breaking as early as we did. I was just, I was really worried about, about crashing early and we, we just kind of lollipopped it. I don't know what else to say. 
Um, it's all right, though. We're going to be fine. We are definitely going to have a, a fight ahead of us here. I don't anticipate us catching Verstappen, but I do anticipate Ricardo giving us a run for our money. And obviously, it's, it's lap 7 out of 14, so we're halfway through this race. We're really going to have to hang in there and, uh, and fight with him. I would imagine he's definitely going to get around us. I just hope we can make it competitive, and I hope that we can, uh, can maybe pass him back. We're going to see what happens. Obviously, our tires are going to degrade as time goes on. We're going to have to worry about, Verst uh, not Verstappen, Ricardo behind us. We're going to have lots on our plate. So I'm, I'm going to probably be quiet here for a minute, kind of focus up. And I'll catch up with you guys when Ricardo goes for a pass, which is probably going to be later on in this lap. Yellow flag. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flag. Whoa, what happened? Deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down, maintain a positive delta. What happened back there? We're up at a P6, I'll take it. All right, no overtaking, but we we gotta we gotta catch up to this delta here. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low, and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Okay. We're good. Shoot, dude, it is it is so hard to keep a good a good delta on this. I'm not gonna lie. Shoot, we're above. We're below. Virtual but now we're too far below. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. I suck at those, to be honest. Ricardo's trying to get around us. Not gonna happen, bro. I got this inside. Not gonna happen. It might happen. It it, it happens. I've got a feeling my, my VSC was, was not as clean as his. I would imagine that's that's why he was able to get around us like he did. We just gotta try to keep up with him, dude. I don't, I don't wanna see him pass us and then end up getting way out in front of us and we don't have... Shoot, he's already .9 in front of us, bro. These guys are quick. That was a pretty good corner out of us right there. This is the most important corner of the race right now for us. Got to be able to keep the speed through it. Be able to get within a second. Are we going to have DRS? We're going to have DRS. We're going to be able to hang in there. Here we go. We're strapped in, fellas. I'm ready for a roller coaster. I'm going to break a little bit late right here. We are really going to get up in there. All right. Within half a second of Ricardo here. I don't I don't give up easy, Danny. I'm telling you. I don't give up easy. Whew. Third of a second. The problem is we gotta have a really good rest of the lap here. It is it is like this this these middle sections is where he kills us. He's already up to 1.2 ahead of us. Uh I, dude, this is I mean this is tough. He's he's quick. We're sliding a little bit. We're locking up a little bit. That, that, that corner didn't feel good. I felt like my tires had no bite. Shoot, dude. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep with him. At least we, we gave him a run for his money a little bit there. I mean, it, it definitely would have been nice to, to have that last a bit longer. But, our, dude, our tires just aren't. They aren't giving us what they did a couple laps ago, you know what I mean? That's unfortunate. He did get around us, but we are in P7, so I mean, that's that's not bad at all. It's It's been a good race. I feel like turn 14 right here is our, our best corner. I break pretty late. I feel like we're usually pretty smooth around that. Ooh, that was not smooth. Um... But I, I, don't, I don't think one corner is gonna be able to save us, you know what I mean? Looks like we're about three seconds in front of Signs. We definitely need to beat Signs. We definitely cannot have Signs beat us here, especially after we just told the reporters at the start of the race that uh, that he's our rival, that he's he's the one we're looking to beat. So uh, I'm looking to get that extra acclaim and, and money and fame and whatever comes with it. So we're we're just we're going to focus on on keeping ahead of Signs for the next three laps. Hopefully we can do it. I would imagine we're not going to lose a second a lap to him. At the moment, the car behind us is lapping faster than us by around one second per lap. Okay, so it actually might be worse than I thought. Pitting early felt good at the start, but now that's this is where we're kind of paying for that a little bit. You know, pitting early means that now here towards the end of the race, everyone else is going to have cleaner, fresher tires than us. And uh, I mean, it's not going to be much, but it, it every every little bit makes a difference. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna have to race our heart out. We're gonna have to do our thing here. We're gonna have to hope for the best. 
He is within a second, so he is going to have DRS on us. Look at that man back there. He's looking to make a pass. I'm just going to have to break late. We've got like two and a quarter laps to go. He is, uh, I would imagine he's probably going to be able to go for a pass next lap. So if we're lucky, we might be able to pass him back on the final lap. One thing we're going to we're going to start doing probably starting in the next episode is we we are going to be manually using ERS. That's something we started doing in the last episode and actually, you know what, from a strategy standpoint, we we could probably we could probably turn it on right now. All right, so our ERS assist is off here. What I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to turn it I'm going to turn it all Wait, shoot, it's not let me turn it down. I want to turn it all the way down and I basically want to try to conserve it as much as we can here. Why is it not letting me turn it down? Let me turn it down. Well, now we're going to want it up. How do I turn this off? I don't know how to turn all this shit off. I want to turn my ERS down to conserve battery so that we can we can use the overtake setting on the last lap. That might cost us the race. I know what a fair amount of the menus do. I just I don't know how to navigate them. I don't know how to turn them off. I don't know how to change them, that sort of thing. What I was trying to do, and it's still not working, I had a button set up for my, my ERS control. And I think because I think because it was it was on the assist, it must have reset the button. Basically, I was trying to turn our ERS down so we could save some battery, we could save it up, and then on this last lap, I was going to use our overtake button a bunch to be able to keep up with them. So like we we want to probably use the overtake button here. Let's use max battery, try to get as much speed out of this thing as we possibly can. And if we would have had this earlier, we would have had DRS through this section used all of our battery and we could have potentially gotten back around them even though we're, we're posting slower times through the corners because we're, we're kind of struggling on our tires. But uh, obviously the menu system had something against me. It's my fault, 100%, like no doubt about that. I just, I need to figure out what buttons change what. There's like 15 buttons on this, this controller, on this wheel. So I just like, I'm constantly trying to press stuff and it, it never works out. We got driver of the day though, so where'd we end up? P8? Behind Danny Rick and Carlos Sainz, which were both our, our choices for a, uh, a rival, unfortunately. Not, not showing good on that rivalry yet, but it's not bad. Anytime we can get a top 10, anytime we can get in, in the points, we'll be, we'll be alright. I honestly think if we didn't have that, that flub at the start Great of the last lap, today. I think... Let's have your thoughts. I, I think we could've, could've... Beat your team must there. be ecstatic with how you're performing. Um, really glad to live up to their expectations. Maybe, but you can't be complacent. I'm gonna say they are. I just, uh, I do it to just see the smiles on their faces. Kind of a nice answer there. Wholesome you had answer. A close battle today, didn't you? Uh, too close. We're both pushing each other to be the best drivers we can be. Appreciate your time. No problem. So yeah, I, I think without that flub, I think we could have at least made it entertaining there at the end. I, I think I think we were close. So this is our rivalry breakdown here. We're gonna get different sets of acclaim and and you know go up against each other, push each other to be better, get bonuses for beating each other. So we're gonna have to do better in the next one. We're definitely gonna have to take down signs. Um, we did not complete the 75 laps, but we did get the, the sponsor bonus for doing the, the journalist stuff. So that's good. We got to, we got to start picking more sponsors. We can actually hit their challenges. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed next episode. We are, I'm going to make sure I have my button set up correctly. So like this, this spinny thing on this wheel right here, dude, this, this thing is so nice. Cause it's got so much customization. I just, I think, I think I didn't have it set right. So this spinny thing on the wheel, I can have it. So when I spin it up, it turns the ERS up. When I spin it down, it turns it down. When we were in front of signs, we should have had it down. We should have been conserving as much battery as possible so we could go hot lap and overtake mode on that final lap. And we could have, uh, we could have beat him. So anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.